Hello everyone, this is Renu and our today's topic is adjective. In this video, we'll cover what is an adjective and kinds of adjective. Adjective is a word that describes a noun or pronoun in a sentence. Words that describes either a noun or pronoun are said to be adjectives. For example, Neha is a pretty girl. Neha is a pretty girl. So here in this sentence, the word pretty is describing Neha and the words that describes, that tells us what kind of a girl or boy is, that are called adjective. I don't like that person. Here in this example, that is playing the role of as a describing word because it, it is telling us which boy, which person, that. So that is also an adjective. He gave me two apples. How many? Two. So here in this sentence, the word two is playing the role of, of describing word and it is an adjective. So here in these three sentences, the word pretty, that and two are adjectives because the words that tells us what kind of a person is, which boy or girl is, how many person or things is, they are called adjective. Actually, they describe a noun or pronoun in a sentence and the words that describes they are called adjective. Mainly describing words are said adjective. Read these sentences carefully. 1. The honest man was rewarded. The honest man was rewarded. Second one. The man was honest. So here in these two sentences same word has been used as an adjective. But the position is changed in both. So, when an adjective is used as a subject, then we say adjective has been used attributively. And when it is used as a predicate, then we say an adjective is used as predicatively. Attributively, when it plays the role of a subject. And predicatively, when it plays the role of a predicate. Now it's a turn to learn kinds of adjective. Number one, adjectives of quality. What is an adjective of quality? It's a word that tells us the kind or quality of a person or thing. Actually, it tells us kind or quality of someone or something as she is a lazy girl. So here in this sentence, which word is telling us quality? Lazy. So it's an adjective. The flower is beautiful. So which word is telling us quality? Beautiful. Don't be a fool. Which word is describing someone? Which word is telling us quality? Fool. So in these three sentences, the words lazy, beautiful and fool are telling us quality quality of someone or something and the words that tells us actually what kind of a person or thing are called adjectives of quality. Next one is adjectives of quantity. Adjectives of quantity. It's a word that tells us how much. For example, you have no sense. He should have much patience. I took some water. And there is a little milk for my kitten. So in these sentences, the highlighted word like no, much, some and little. They tells us how much. Actually, they are not telling us exact amount. When a word is used for uncountable things. And tells us quantity. Quantity of uncountable things. The word that tells us quantity of uncountable things. 
that is called adjectives of quantity next one is adjectives of number what is an adjective of number actually it tells us how many how many persons or things are meant it tells us order actually counting for example the hand has five fingers so it is fixed we can count so the words that are used for countable things they are called adjectives of numbers i am studying in third class what is adjective of number here third there are no picture in this book so here the word no is used as an adjective you know why because we can count picture so the same word same word can be used for adjective of quantity and as adjective of number how when no word is used for uncountable things then it is adjectives of quantity and when it is used for countable things then it is adjective of number please give me one glass of water here one is adjective of number so the words that tells us actually counting they are called adjectives of number let us understand adjectives of number actually adjective of number can be cardinal number or ordinal number actually definite numeral adjective denotes an exact number exact number may be cardinal cardinal like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and ordinal number for second third fourth fifth okay and indefinite numeral adjectives do not denote an exact number as many some few any certain so these are the adjectives of number actually definite are those who define who denotes an exact number and one who does not denote an exact number that is called indefinite numeral adjective and the examples are many some few any certain no etc now distributive numeral adjectives actually these are the parts of adjectives of number definite numeral adjectives indefinite numeral adjectives and distributive numeral adjective what are distributive numeral adjectives they are like each every either in example one as you can see each boy has a pair of shoes so here if we want to count we can count so here this word each is an adjective of number but it is used as distributive numeral adjective india expects every man to do his duty here also the word every is playing the role of distributive numeral adjectives i think adjectives and the kinds of adjectives are clear to you let's revise what is an adjective it's a word that describes describes a word word can be noun or pronoun that is called adjective okay and in this video we learn adjective of quality quantity and number quality tells us quality how a person or thing is quantity tells us amount that we cannot count and number tells us exact number that we can count Thank you so much for watching this video please do like and share and do not forget to subscribe our channel